as we started dating, uh, uh, I can't lie, I was also cheating a little bit, but he was cheating his own cheating. <laughs> and I realized this relationship is stupid. No, now just once or twice, not even too much. It's Maybe not three. Not, it's not that you you didn't go all the way. You went all the way, but it was once no, or twice. No, I went all the way once, and then the other twice, three times was you know just a splash, just a splash, just a dip into the pool. Don't worry oh, about that. I didn't swim. Tamar. So. Hello, nice. hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Low Key Relatable Podcast. Jarif. Featuring Samara and Valerie. Lovely stuff. Valerie is looking fucking wealthy today. I feel like I should beg her for money yeah. in this outfit. Samara. I feel like. Please don't let me cast you on We this. should just. Should I cast you? Please don't cast me. Okay, so we don't. Are, let's not are, have no. this conversation. Please. It's podcast. It's not for casting. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Oh, you look so lovely. Thank you, baby. How are you? How have you been? How is life? <sighs> <laughs> no deep side. You know, Dada is on the high side. If you have any that you're not using, please come and dash us. If you are feeling generous, Christmas you is can. coming. This is the Mad OHQ. Yeah. We trust them. As specifically for Loki Relatable. Yeah. You know, and just donate to us, donate to our cause. See our skin is needing dollar infusion so yeah. that we can glow brighter. You, know, you can't even be proud with your begging these days. Um, there's no need, especially no with need. USG. Hey, go and then next year, I'm very alarmed for next year because we're gonna have extra food prices because of all this flooding. Then we're gonna everything's just gonna go up. You know, have you seen how much rice what is I'm worried nowadays? about the most for next year? What? Uh, 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 okay, election. But um, yes, yes. Uh, 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 mm. My baby, why? I'm turning thirty. Yes. yes, I called my friend that is an event planner. Shout out to you, Mix. I'm always shouting out my friends. At this point, I feel like if I'm not saying shout out to you, then I really friends. Okay, ah. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Um, shout out to you, Mikko. <laughs> Valerie's um, friends now going through the old episode. Yes. I hope she shouted me. Please increase our views. Are we are Watch all friends? the episodes to find out if I shouted you out. Go and check so you know where you stand. Increase our views, thanks. But then, um, yeah, um, I called her and I was like, I was having a really annoying day. And I called her and I was like, oh, how are you doing? How far? How are you feeling? I said, the first, first small talk. She's like, so what's up? Like, why did you call me? Mm. My friends, so she's like, so Where'd this you is a call. Me? If you had, you just wanted to gist you for you'd have texted me like yeah. I was like ah, I just wanted to know if it's too early to start planning my thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I turned thirty in June. Oh, twenty twenty three. Yes. Um, I'm accepting gifts from now. I'm screaming. All twenty twenty three is your birthday. To be honest. Yes, I'm turning thirty. Um, I want to travel. Or do a party. You should do both. Or do both. You should do both. I mean, then not, what God cannot do does not exist. I'm screaming. So, I mean, that's the correct thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. So, I mean, God feel drawn for me. I also want a new car. Let me just put it out there. Let me just sow the seed. You need there. three gifts now for each decade. Car, you know, party, a, a travel. car for the ten. Party for the other ten, and exactly. then a trip for the, the last trip. ten. Exactly, it makes sense. Um, I want to go to Europe to in case th- anybody in <laughs> that works in the embassy. Just please, if you are working in the embassy and you are watching this, as she's going, just know that sometimes you know Europe is very dangerous. I do sometimes have a security. I can even sweep. So buy ticket for two of us. Should be doing birthday. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'll be at the back. I'll just be making sure everything is at, is good at home. Oh I'll God. be frying it would be Nice if I got like a fully sponsored trip for my birthday. That'll be lovely. I will tag any, anybody, anything, even if you want me to post we'll tag this, anything. This, this apart from this, bleaching this products, camera, this microphone. If you want me to tag it, girl, best believe I'm going to tag, you tag this shit. dying plant. I will tag anything as long as they pay for the trip. Please, oh, all expense paid trip. Do you know how much tickets is these days? <laughs> Even to get to Abuja is expensive. Um, uh, I was supposed to go to London. London that I used to pop in and out of as if it's my backyard. I said, okay, See, let me Tamara, go. Tamara, first of all, can I just I say that going to London has never been cheap? No, stop. It was Let's cheap. Start it was cheap. What was the definition like of cheap? If you don't buy my accent chair, <laughs> I will swear for you. Tamara, what, what do you mean by this? What do you mean by this? I, 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 you know that I was a, it was a trap. 
I set it up for you and you fell into it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just relative to, like, you know. <laughs> It's cheap, uh, like, it, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it was cheaper than what it is Look now. You that's what that I mean. <laughs> 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 but it used to just be like a couple hundred k. <laughs> now, how much is the accent here? No, now. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's gonna be this is fun. not looking relatable. <laughs> What did you say? Plenty dollars. <laughs> this is just looking relatable. <laughs> Come on. Oh! Anyway, but yeah, carry on. We've just started the podcast, you know. No, no, no. We've, we've just been chatting shit. We've just been chatting. But yeah. Um, what are we talking about this week? I know it. I'm <sighs> ready. We're talking about dating insecure men. Insecure men. First of all, this topic, hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel very strongly award about it because I've dated in my life. You know, my dear beloved family friend, in fact, she's pretty much family. Shout out, babes. Um, she suggested this topic and I thought, okay, nice topic. She sent some tips. She sent some, uh, you know, some examples, some stories for us. And then we also mm-hmm. got some other stories. We'll mix and mash all of them together. Yeah. But when I first heard of the topic, I thought, okay, fine, a topic. And then on my way here today, I thought about it. I thought about the insecure men I've dated. Mm-hmm. My God, we punish every single one of you. Because I've experienced some... You know, at the time, I didn't realize they were insecure men. I just thought, oh, men are crazy. But it's actually insecurity that's doing a lot of them. Some are mad, though. Their name is like Wale or something like that. It's mostly madness doing you. But some other ones, it's just insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> insecurity. Um... I think yeah, and I'm a lot of craziness that I'm a lot of craziness that we are on the receiving end of from men does stem from their insecurities. Yeah. Um, but in that same um vein, vein, yeah, I've met some very insanely secure men, like, and they're like, you know, like um. You know when like a flower grows out of concrete? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> those kind of those kind of uh, Rose in Harlem. <laughs> yeah, those like one of one. Well, not one of one, but I feel like the 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 one the, there was a very like I feel like I should also talk about that one. I don't have enough instrument stories, first of all. To God be the glory for you. Lucky for me. <laughs> I've I've had friends. I've had friends. I ha- I have a, I have a few, but nothing too crazy. Mm-mm. I have a lot. Um, I generally always just use to jump and pass. But I've met <coughs> not chop and pass. I've met <laughs> I've met um a man that it was I was taller than him. Mm-hmm. Oh this was a while ago. Don't get me started on Napoleon like, and his like other short fucking friends. No, funny enough, when I met him, I was a bit apprehensive because mm-hmm. I felt Was um, he very short? Like what short. was he? Like five I, this the story gets good. Trust me. You, oh, then he? you'll be able to tell his height. Okay, 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 okay. I'll be able to tell. Okay, okay. okay. It's your height. Like I'm anyway, um, I generally like you know like unfortunately the society that we live in. I'm generally more attracted to men that are taller than me, or I mean, at least we have the same height. Because yeah. I want that whole cute and that whatever. Great. It's a man that can you know so, lift you. This man started like talking to lift. me. I think I was like twenty or twenty one. Mm-hmm. He starts talking to me, mm-hmm. and he's like older, like maybe like ten or ten years older. Mm-hmm. We're like it's okay, it's not so crazy. Um, he's very polite, very intentional, mm-hmm. very nice, you know. Because he's a thirty year old man, he knows how to act. Anyway, he yeah. So he's been trying to he's been trying to get me to like hang out with him or whatever, and I did. So I hung out with him the first time, and it was cool. I think we went to eat like eat something or yeah, we went to eat. Mm-hmm. Um, the second time we hung out, it was in a more cozy environment. Uh 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 uh, and. This is what convinced me of how assured this man is and secure he is. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit graphic. But he was trying to eat me out, right? When you go not outside in the public? I said okay, the no, second okay, time okay, in Hong yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was, sta- like, he wanted me to stand. I'm like, he was so small that he knelt underneath me. Not knelt, kind of like... Slouch. Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. 
<laughs> so it just did that and did like this it and it was, was just there. Yeah. It was just like he didn't really do much of it. He didn't, he didn't it move was. much. It was just he was in a very comfortable, not really squatting. Oh, but oh my gosh! To uh, uh, and it just made me think. At first, I was like, oh, I'm so shy. I feel so gigantic. But then he was like going to town. Wow, <laughs> like, what an assured man. My mind is definitely in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it was after that that I realized that he had like what you would say is like big dick energy. That's a secure man. Yes. That is the wrong like, episode for them. This is the insecure. You now brought a <laughs> tiny uh, happy man. I just wanted to be the devil's advocate. I'm fucking screaming. <laughs> Let me tell you my short man story. Is the opposite of this. <laughs> it's the opposite. Tell me, tell so me. on my, I don't know, 22nd or 23rd birthday, I can't remember, we were out in Lagos. I got like a party bus. We were having a great time. Party I had a bus bottle of Lagos. tequila. It was just a That's bus. That's what they it do was, for you. No, no, no. It was my father's <laughs> bus. <laughs> Office bus. And I just packed alcohol <laughs> and decorated. Party Damn bus, man. simple stuff. You would knock you. No, it adds to the story. That's why I, I put it. You, it's part you, of the you. story. That's why I bet you did. So I figured. So I was out. I was drinking. Tequila was flowing. I was having a great time. And I started making out with this guy. I mean, I was like three guys. I don't remember. But like I was making out with one. And it was my favorite one. And I was having a great time. So at the end of the night, we were like, okay, let's go to another club. As one does, you know, a club hopping stuff. My boss was missing. Somebody, one of my friends had carried my boss to go and fuck babe. So, that's how the mommy and my friend. Boss. He said that Tamara said the driver was one of those ones, you know, not too sharp. He said, okay. He just followed. He didn't call, confirm nothing. Also, even if he had called, me, I was drunk inside, kissing men up and down. Would I have heard him? So, my boss was gone. So, this guy that I was making out with, he was like, oh, I'm going there. I'll take you and your friends. And I was like, okay. So, I stood up. I thought he stood up to only to realize he had been standing. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh oh my goodness <laughs> that's the biggest one. I was shocked <laughs> I was drunk <laughs> so I said okay let's go so he went as we were going he was trying to show us I'm not shot I'm a cool guy so he was speeding of course, we had accidents. Can you see over the stereo? We had accidents. So we just get it wet. I told you, it was. So we had accidents. It was very dramatic. Obviously, I had all my friends in this car, so it was dramatic. Nobody died. We're okay. We thank God. But then the next few days, he called me because, you know, his car was bashed. It was my birthday. He had been carrying my. F- so it was, you know, a traumatic incident. So we bonded. And then we had had like a few PTSD fucks. Next day, I know this man is my boyfriend. Why? Yes, I don't know. Like I told you, we're going through things. He slipped and me. fell into that. I one. slipped and fell on a midget, and then you know, next day I Three knew we were midget. dating. We were dating, and we dated for a month. And I was like, no, I was not twenty three. I was twenty or twenty one or something like Are that. Because sure? I went back to uni. Okay, fair. Yeah. So we dated during summer. Summer loving. You see, summer romance is the reason it's only summer time. You are supposed to end it. We now say, okay, let's go back to school. My God, this is where I started seeing signs and wonders. This boy could not lie. Signs and wonders. There's no lie exactly. on God's green earth that did not tell me to keep me with it. First of all, he would attempt to cheat. So he would tell people, Tamara is cheating on me. I'm heartbroken. Then because he's short, me girls would not be like, oh, sorry, darling, come to my breast. He was a creep. <laughs> he was a creep like that. <laughs> then. At a point, myself, I realized, I said, I don't love this guy. He's a lovely guy. Shout out to you. I don't know where you are now if you're listening. I don't really care. Shout out to you. You're a lovely guy. Minus your cheating and your lies and all that other stuff and your height. So he's not a lovely guy. Though. Lovely guy. Cheating and lying. Does that mean somebody is not nice? Very sharp. Very, very intelligent guy. He had, Tamara. you know, good chat. Tamara. He could play, you know. Now, you're confusing us. You're confusing me and the audience. No, 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 no. Is he no, good no. or is he bad? He's a trash boyfriend and person to love. He's a great person. You can be. You know, think about your friends that That's are single. Whole think about purpose. your friends that are single, but you love them, but you know why they are single. It's their character. It's their character. It's that's him. You know, we've already also established that me and you, we have two very definitions of friends. No. It's, don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that. Yeah, but anyway, so, carry on. So then, 
as we started dating, I, I miss him. I can't lie, I was also cheating a little bit, but he was cheating his own cheating. <laughs> I now realize tomorrow, this relationship tomorrow, is tomorrow, stupid. A little bit. No, now nah, just once or twice. Not even too much. <laughs> it's Maybe not three. that you know, it's not that you you didn't go all the way. You went all the way, but it was once no, or twice. I went all the way once, and then the other twice, three times was you know just a splash, just a splash, just a dip into the pool. Don't worry oh, about that. I didn't swim. Tamara. So then I now realize this relationship is stupid. I know this boy is cheating. I am cheating. What are we doing here? So I said, look, boy, I want to end this shit. He said, Tamara, no, don't do this. Don't go. Blah 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 blah. Do you know this guy told me he has cancer? He called my mom, he spoke to my family. It was so deep. This boy was cancer free, was clubbing in the streets of Lagos, having his, a wild time. Well, he told you he had cancer. Yes, what because was, what he, did you put in your stew? Height. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he lying that he has cancer to be with? Because he's short! It was so many weird, like in little just into it was later I realized he had just little insecure. He used to be very like even like little things like when we were fucking, you know, you had to just bend me. If not, it's gonna sweet him. <laughs> You have to beg him. You have to beg me over. <laughs> Tamara, I'm screaming. I'm speechless and I'm hardly ever. That's just one story. And I dated another one. This was the one that made me realize men below six, six feet are not for me because something is spiritually wrong with all of them. I don't know oh if it's God. a height balance or something else. This one told me proudly with his chest that there's no way in hell if we get married or we're together, I can earn more money than him. What does he mean by that? He said either he will, you know, have to amp up his game and earn more or I'll have to, you know, retreat. I First of all, that person is horrible vibe. Oh, horrid. Imagine standing in the way of my bag. Horrid. He I said that never he can't, speak to you again. He said that it doesn't even make sense and that I can't understand the pressures of like, you know, men and women dynamics because, you know, men are supposed to provide but women can just do whatever. So why do I even have to make that much money? Bear in mind, I was like 24 at this time. I don't even know how much fucking money I was making. I want making. to join them. Guy. If you're out here, you're doing whatever. Okay, bitch up. Guy. But then because. I also want to know, because I know a lot of people that they start making money, like a lot of babes, they start making a lot of money and their husbands like have an issue with it. I know. Of and course, that is uh, insecurity. Even like your because it's your money. You're enjoying too. Why are oh, you angry? Whatever. No, my money's not your money. You're true. Ah, uh, no. We are in a union. My money, uh, uh, also, it's my glory, not your glory. So if I'm shining, are you not shining? Shine. If I'm buying a nice house for myself, I know my husband will you not be in the house with me. Is your husband not going to live in your house, he Valerie? Would, like he would, but like... But hopefully he will have like more money. He, but I'm saying, let's say oh, by mistake. He's like separate rooms and like... <laughs> Why is your husband outside? No, 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 no. We will have... No, no, no. Okay, I take it back. We'll sleep in the same room. You have to be healthy yourselves at night. If not, the love can just... That's part of it. The biology of the healing yourselves. It's actually biology. Google it bitches psychology okay but anyway i feel like we sort of deviated from <laughs> no but about. like insecurity and insecure men and how they don't like when you earn more we haven't deviated oh yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, fair. because like, you should be fine because i feel like um, a lot of people a I lot of babes don't even want to, to date i can't lie i don't mind it but I there's mean, the insecurity lie. if a man was lie. insecure me, would I you said, mind I, I just said i can't lie but i was about to lie i'm screaming <laughs> i was about to lie and say i don't mind it if like i earn more than you are really i don't earn that much so please earn more than me no but <laughs> what i'm saying is if you are blessed tomorrow let's say tomorrow disney lands in this lagos and they say valerie we are going to be our entire we want to give you everything we want you to be the poster child automatically no matter let's say okay, i don't care if you walk yeah thank you let's say but <laughs> let's say let's say my mistake is wealthy obviously we don't want no dead beast we don't want no Crops, you don't want that rubbish, obviously. But let's say you just are any more than him, is the only problem not going to be his insecurity, it's not going to be any problem on your side, is yeah. it? Yeah, it's always oh, them that imagine go. like getting something that big and then you now say that I can't do it because I'll earn more than Thank you. Thank you, or they start acting so much because it's yeah. like, <laughs> well, you know, you are the one any money now, now so oh, why, do, why don't you pay the bills? Why do I have to drop money okay. too? It's insecurity, no, 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 no. I think it, it depends. I think that's why money this money conversation is important mm. but then i understand the insecurity part of it because we exist in a patriarchal society right mm. where they're they're born and they're trained to believe that they're always supposed to provide and that's irritating great um it's not our fault that that's how the society is it's i like that it works for us it's a one good double standard that works in our favor yeah, like one, one of the double few. standard that i use to my advantage yes yeah, because one, one of the few it. all the other standards I always are say, to but the then main. ultimately at the end of the day i think you also um security there's some things that you have to learn by yourself it's kind of like 
most some people are born and their parents encourage them to have incredible self-esteem and right yeah the bat, some people know, you have to they figure know it their out self-worth but other people learn so There's because of society you be so i think learning security in yourself is yeah. something that goes on like the more the older you get yeah. that's why i always say things like but hey, what about tough problems like what about men that are insecure because they have small stuff no one i don't know how you can learn it to i think that you have to just i think that there are different day. reasons for insecurity but my issue is the toxic insecure. Get out. <laughs> Stop it. It's irritating me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how men treat them. What do you want them to do? I mean, women treat them. How can you grow securities when you got a micro penis? I mean, um, I don't know. People just honestly, un- unfortunately, have the short end of the stick. <laughs> Sorry. You know, Sorry. you know, I didn't even plan Not that. The stick. I didn't even plan. I didn't even, it was after I said it that I realized that I had said it. But I just think that um, <sighs> you know, it's tough. It's tough. I, I I get it. I understand the reasons for some insecurities, but I feel like it becomes a problem when your insecurities start harming the person. And I think that's what we're trying to talk about here, right? Yeah, when your insecurities are uh, when you let it get in the way of the relationship, yes, so you when can I feel it. This link. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine. DM me and we like it's, it's funny enough the link struck up a lot of conversations but they struck up conversations with my friends and obviously because of the nature of the topic I have to I can't say but there was this particular conversation I was having with a friend of mine and she mentioned how um, she was with this person and when she's very attractive she's beautiful you mm. know you know you know everything um, when she goes out um apparently um if someone like talk if someone like in the past like if someone like spoke to her or whatever it would be like who is that person talking to you why is that person talking to you what do they know about you like why 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 why, why, what why did, did they guy, know about like why did the you? guy come and meet you like why is it like if so if you go if i let's say we go out together yes and you're here i'm her and let's say Zora, Zora keeps, Zora keeps, you. first of all, Zora keeps looking at me. Okay. First, and Zora doesn't even come to talk to me. Uh-huh. Bear in mind, I'm a, tra- I'm a very attractive, attractive woman. woman. And if he has eyes, he knows why they're looking. My dear, you say if we can't find me, now your leg, you can't. Exactly. As in, now your leg, you take see me. Bruh, he will start ah! rapping. Exactly. Like, you should talk to that. You talk to him now. That's but that's so does. stupid. Or, like, let's say now, even someone she knows, but maybe he doesn't know comes to like sees her and like comes to say hi like who is that who are you talking to? and it's just like sir why are you disturbing i hate guys like that that's insecurity because the thing is you want a fine girl but you don't want anybody else to know your girl is fine you don't you know, want anybody also, else to lost to buy your girl no matter how insecure you are the person that wants to cheat is still going to cheat Oh, but insecure men are always the ones that cheat. Like yeah. it doesn't. Oh, so there's some that insecure men that has cheating. nothing to do with their insecurities. They are going to cheat on you anyway. Mm-hmm. Then there's some that cheat because they are insecure. Those ones are the ones that we are praying for you. We are hoping you get better. I don't think I've really so encountered. Stupid. I don't think I've encountered. I don't think I've encountered an insecure man long enough to stay and be like, "This is what he's doing to me." No, <laughs> even just little conversations. Even little conversations. Mm-hmm. Even like when you just meet a guy for the first time and you are telling them like, "Okay, this is what I do. This is my life. This is how I live," and they start saying little things like. Oh, well, you know, when they just start mentioning, like, maybe they would have told you before they do one job, and then they start telling you about their side hustles unprovoked, and how, you know, yeah, they've gone to this, and how, they just start saying things where you can tell it's like they're trying to compete. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, yeah, like, I, I've worked on this too, and I've done this too, and I'm like, all I, you. like, why are you, it's not a, I'm just, we're just chatting, why are you getting, why are you giving me your CV? Mm, I'm not why are you so insecure, honey? And it's usually men below 5'11". I've told you how it ties into this. I've, I don't know why. It's Napoleon. Actually, yeah, not Napoleon. I'm I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard that. Um, I have stories. It's, um, yeah. But anyways, let's get into the stories. I have stories. Them on the wrong stories. Okay, yes. Let me check. Oh, one is simple. One just says, he, yes, he had a problem when I got compliments from people, which is what we were talking about just now. Like, why but why are you angry that the person you are with is so, so fine that people want to compliment crazy, the person? So oh, I have one. Oh, mom. <laughs> That's how it starts. So, so I'm for a treat. I dated this guy back in uni. Somehow, somehow, Sha, I was staying with him at some point. And this guy goes to my phone on a regular and he even had passwords to my socials. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to pause in the story right there. Do you, do anybody you're dating, do they have like all your passwords and stuff? 
Why? Thank you. What the fuck is that? Mm. Any man that asks for all your private information, I mean, either wants to rob you, <laughs> is doing like uh, you, with the guy in you that wants, is obsessed with you and stalking you, or is an insecure prick. No, um, when, I was, when, I was, when I was married, I had, like, we knew, we knew each other. That's your husband! If you die, he needs to, he's the one that's going to sort okay. you out. Yeah. Spouse is different, but casual partner? Why are you in my, pa- why do you have the password to my socials? You know, I found... Never what do you mind. find? What do you find? What do you find? What do you find? Never mind. Tell us. Somebody I know. Yeah. When she was asleep, they used to lift her fingers to unlock her laptop. Even you keep your fingers alert. What was he looking for in her laptop? Just. To be fair, yeah. So going through people's phones and stuff. I'm gonna get back to this story. I haven't forgotten. But going through people's phones and stuff. Sometimes it's insecurity. It's sometimes a violation. It's, it's a amable. violation. No, no, no. Because I've never done it to my partner. Because I don't know. That's just rude and weird. But like my siblings, my parents, some of my friends, random strangers. Yeah, I'm gonna go through your phone if I can. I'm just nosy. I'm not ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ashamed. If your phone is unlocked and is in my Why front, I'm gonna Why? nothing. I just like gist. I just want to see if you're okay. I want to see if you're happy. If you are sad. I used to do that when if I was younger. If your phone younger, is open in my front, see, I would, and I would tell you what I saw. I wouldn't hide it. I used to do that when I was younger. And I used to do it in the years of like pixelated f- picture phones, like those throwback phones. <laughs> and I realized that a lot of uh, Nigerian adults take naked pictures of themselves. <laughs> like, you just go through someone's pictures, you see face, face, next in bush. It's like, what Almost the fuck? everybody has nudes. And these are the facts. Almost everybody. Yeah, That's why like, when you drop from nowadays. Before. When you like drop nowadays, nobody cares because the aunties are not because they know the what they are doing on a uh, Nokia 3310. Mm, they know. 3310? Yes, now nah, they didn't have camera. That one they have camera. Mm. 3310 was like that phone. That's snake now. If you have snake, that was the OG camera? snake. That's the one that the pixels you can't even see his bush. Yes, I do like. Sc- you will just be seeing exactly <laughs> the pixels. That is like we are in Minecraft. It's not working. Girl, that phone they have a camera. The one after it's 47. T- I don't know what they call it. I get you, sure. But you get me. Yeah, yeah. 100%. So, back to this story. So, this man was all up in her socials and had her passwords. Okay, now, the funny thing is, the guy would lock me in the house whenever he was going out. What the fuck am I reading? What the fuck? What the fuck am I reading? I feel reading? like we should have this read this story. This is abuse. We should have read this story. I don't know why we're always shocked. Every episode, we're reading things are fresh. <laughs> we're stunned on camera. I'm actually I'm, I'm alarmed. I'm stressed out. If your boyfriend is locking you in the house, that's not your boyfriend. That's Sir Kelly. You are in prison. Please come out. That's Let's an abductor him. for that's real. Ab- that's a predator. He's abducting you. Why are you locked in there? If the house catch him. fire now, what will happen? Bruh! Hey? Don't you have asthma? Me, I have asthma. You As cannot leave me in a locked house. I too. cannot. Is he asthma? Be what's that disease? Claustrophobia. Uh, no, 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 no. It's like me, I'm saying like asthma. I have a health condition. Exactly. Like, I also have a, a condition of not wanting to be locked, locked up. In the That's <laughs> some nasty stuff. I don't have to be sick for you to not lock me up, right? I was only allowed to go to school and back. My friends get angry whenever <laughs> I tell them. Dami won't let me go whenever, whenever they invite me to hang out. And they eventually left me in my miserable relationship. We're going to pause it again. No, no. Wrong response. When you see your friend is in a relationship that they are locking her in the house, call the police. Don't leave the person in the house. It's Nigerian that police. girl is stigmatized. Okay, not the police. Call her father. Me, I'm not above that. I'm very proud. I, don't, I will call your dad. Me, I've my friend before. That I was going to, she was misbehaving and I yelled her that I was going to call her mom. Say. Remaining small right now, I'm about to call and my friends dad. like me. Um, I'm not even ashamed that I'm I'm usually bigage. people that are, my friends that I have their parents' numbers. Basically, they're going to believe anything I told them that you're yeah. doing. Because that's how close we are. Yeah, 100%. Uh, imagine one of my close friends calling my mom. My mom would be so alarmed. She knows that I have to call me a rack, but she would definitely probe me. Like, uh, why would your friend just randomly? It's not possible. It's not possible. So that means it's not possible. It's not possible. Some things are miss. It's terrible. Don't leave your friend in bad relationships. Try and save them. If they say no twice, and hey, fuck them. Well, not fuck them. Say twice. Pray so for them. Try twice. Pray for them. This guy would go out to chill with his friends and even go to club but lock me up in the house. <laughs> he even questions his friends if he senses small familiarity between us whenever they come visiting. I lost myself and my mind while dating this guy. Well, let me just stop here before I traumatize you guys. Too late, girl. Yeah, too late. It's honey. too late. We traumatized. Late, um, I'm What's glad that you spoke about the relationship in past tense. 
I'm very happy. That means you escaped. To God be the glory. Please don't go back. Hallelujah. We love that. No but like, how good the dick was. That's Do so bad. That's another thing with girls. That's so a I'm sorry. Man. Sometimes when you're dickmatized, he's a horrible man. Sometimes when you're dickmatized, he's a man. yeah, that's not an insecure man. What that's a that's a you? that's a man that wants to it own you. House. He wants to own you. And once a man yeah. wants to, he thinks of you as property. He doesn't rate you. It's time you for know, you to leave there. That's kind of why I would say this kind of ties into the topic that we want to do but that's why i would say like i really enjoyed the relationship i had with my mom because she said she just used to go to school and come back right and i feel like when she was married times, this babe no oh school. this guy yeah 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 Yeah, like when i when i used to leave school, i used to tell my mom like that i was in i was in lagos not every time obviously but a good amount of times i'll tell her that i wasn't in school mm-hmm. at least if anything happens I know that I can call my mother. Let and somebody tell my know mother. that this is where I am. Yeah. yeah. Like imagine me just moving. I don't know, Sha. But imagine I feel you like your mom calls you and you say you are locked at home. In somebody in a man's house. house. <laughs> that's not a relationship. You're a sex toy. My dear, that's not it at all. Sorry. The list girl. of things that I ate. That's not there. I'm happy you came out. I have more mm-hmm. stories to traumatize you. This is another one related to this. I can you see? Nice Fucking short men. Oh. He was shorter than me and insecure about his height. He was always saying how he thinks I'd leave him for a taller guy. <laughs> he claimed to really like me and I was getting to like him. We were just messing around. We went home for holidays and came back with a girlfriend. Now they're happily married. You see why I say short men are bastards from the pit of hell. That was such Satan's an minion, minions. Um, how running is around. the person that was accusing you of leaving him for a taller guy? The one that now left you and went to go and marry. If you don't know, eh? If you don't know. Is it reverse psychology? If you don't know, nobody in this life has more audacity than a man below 5'10". <laughs> you see where Mara. the womb is in a female. Oh. That whole space for men below 5'10 is audacity. Just full of... And it can expand the way our womb expands to get out more audacity for expand. them to be more and more stupid and I'm to do dead. more rubbish like this. How can you come with girlfriend? Yeah. I have to go to your wedding. I will wait to your wedding there and I will announce that this bastard is my beloved in case you mm. don't know. This is madness. Oh, well. The game is the game. The you just game. have to learn how to play. The game is the fucking game. Do you want to read the next one? Uh. Oh. <laughs> ah. She said, I dated a guy who was insecure about his finances because I earned more. It was long distance. One thing about me is I, I can afford distance. it. and oh, It was long distance. Full stop. One thing about me is if I can afford it and I want it, I'll get it. Yes, I it girl. Yes, I it girl. Yes. Mm-hmm. We should print that on a shirt. As in, <laughs> I um, want it, I got it. I'm not going to reduce the quality of my life because you can't afford me. Yes. Tell him. Yes. Then he asked me what I wanted to do for the holiday and I told him I had a list of restaurants to try in Lagos and he argued with me that why am I trying island restaurants? <laughs> There are better <laughs> ones on the mainland. Not only is he an insecure man, he's also a liar. Uh, <laughs> there's good restaurants on the mainland. I didn't say that they're not good. He said that they but are better. But he said there's better ones. And it's like... My girl said, take notes. I live on the island. So not only... she wa- He wanted her to travel to where he was. Or where... I don't know. I don't know where he was. And every time I like tried to put him on an opportunity to get his money up, he would get angry. Now, not so you don't even insecure. want to up your bag. You are insecure. You are too you insecure are to up your bag. And you don't have sense. How do we help you? They can't help you. I know that man was younger than... T- shorter than 5'11". I know it. I can feel it. Mm. My problem with these men and their money issues... Just from jump... You know, I have a friend who... When he doesn't have money, he's single. Because he knows... <laughs> Let me not disturb anybody's daughter. If you know you don't have money, don't date. Or date who you have money for. If you know your account has a certain amount, look for the kind of babe that you know can manage that amount with you. Don't see somebody, dio, dio, you will now say, that's going to be my girlfriend. Your account is carrying 50k. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Don't waste anybody's time. Don't waste time. You don't waste your time. You spend up to 100k. Exactly. But you want to date. Better go to the girl that when you come to her with gala, she says, baby, wow, thank you so much. Know your level. Know what you are doing. Everybody has uh, what they appreciate. So you say, face the girl that you know you you can afford. Because somebody, uh uh-uh. What do you mean? I can't He said, come, let's go to it. Where are we going on the mainland? I'm not really. Carry on. This is crazy. I will lie. (laughs) Oh, I mean, have you ever dated anybody that has 
Less money than yeah. Yes. How was it? I didn't like it. I wouldn't I recommend like it. it. I would not. Ten um, zero over ten. I realized recently. He wasn't insecure. I realized was I was watching a TikTok recently, was. and this is not even shade or anything, but I was watching a TikTok recently, and you know those TikToks where like people start people talk to people in the streets. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy says he's a ten, but he doesn't have a car. The first girl said like, it's still fine. Where did the they live first girl, of all? Where did they, they live? In America. Hmm. The second no, girl said, okay. "Oh, they were in, they were in, they were in the country. I don't know what country it was. Let's just say they had they sound an American." The second girl said, "Um, he's a zero ah. because fuck, I look like driving my man around every time, everywhere, every single day, and <laughs> when she put it like that." <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when she put it like that, I mean, especially if it's not a marriage stuff, don't make it seem like as if we are, I am at a, um, what do they call it? People that are like vanity. Uh, vanity, vain, well, not vain girls. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not vain ladies. Gold digging stuff. Like, I not mean, that. If you don't have gold, please, we're not gold. But gold like at the same time, uh, it is. I feel like you should have a car. I think that if it we is live in a city where a car is, a, car? if we are in London, that's fine. I don't mind men in London that don't have car. You don't need car. There's traffic. I there's think Lagos cars, is a tough fine. place to not have a car. It's a tough fucking place. Um, especially considering the kind of Uber drivers and bus drivers we have in Nigeria. Yeah. It's a very tough place to not have a car. Every time I want to go somewhere and I'm not driving, I think about it like a million and one times, and I always regret it. Yeah, like I, I just said that I, I need to work hard enough to a hire a driver. Yeah, so that I can just like free this pee because yeah. it's very annoying. every time I drive an Uber and like I hate the I hate I don't I'm hesitant about hiring a driver because this the they fuck up your car familiarity it's, it's that much. can even breed from when someone knows like your, oh, your every stuff. single yeah. move like i don't want that i don't like i don't like ugh. i'm in between like cars that. right now because i'm too cheap to buy a car Naira like your driver knows all like your this. secrets and i'm going through bolts and things like that and my mom's driver who knows all my secrets but like we go way back so that's fine but like it's just exhausting. It's really exhausting. I think yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that car thing. Um, I think um, uh, I've never, luckily enough, I've never experienced anybody in the industry that will tell me, or someone that wants like anyway, because like majority of the time that I've been working in the industry, I was in a relationship, and I was married. So it's not like I see somebody come and miss me. But I, I do have friends that have been like said that things like, oh, you're too out there. You need to dress more conservative. You're posting too much on Instagram. Don't post this on Instagram. Don't post this on Instagram. The same guy that told me the money um, thing told me all of this. I think I've 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 and I think um one thing that I'm I am grateful for about my past relationship was that. Um, it was almost like as if, um, because he didn't care about how, um, how I like to dress. You know, sometimes I can be scantily clad and sometimes I can be fully clothed. Like, it clad. just depends on my mood. And it was just generally something that he supported. Like, he didn't care, like, what I wore. So, I think he kind of gave it, like, a sort of stamp of approval. So, when people want to say they things... They want to chat shit. You're like, yes. but the person who has married yeah, so me he doesn't just, give just a shit. And he, he even, even did it more than I did. Like, I had a birthday So, show. he was a secure man. Yeah. See, like, he... That's what I was saying. That, lucky for me, I've never, like, fully been immersed in a relationship where... The man was insecure because of I was I was with my ex my ex for a while. No, I have. So at the time you don't realize it's insecurity. You actually think it's madness. Because there's some things I heard that I had to I had to ask God. I said, Is it you that made this person or Satan? Because oh what God. kind of idiot is this? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. But then it's after you realize, oh, they were so insecure, a touch of madness came upon them mm -hmm. and they just started to speak. Because sometimes when you're insecure, yeah. like think about even as babes, sometimes, you know, you feel sometime, somehow about your body or something else. You next day, you don't know when somebody has commented on something, you have slapped them. So men too, <laughs> men too, they are insecure about everything. So every now and then they say some things to you and you're just like, hmm, mm. this person's brain cells are dead. You just can't really, I don't know. It's different. You are lucky. You are blessed. I don't know. But if I'm the lucky, time, I'm blessed. I have encountered an insecure man, but like, you I didn't sit down. I didn't sit down to figure. <laughs> I didn't sit down. I'm not anybody's mom, man. Screaming. We have I one more born. story. Yeah, go ahead. 
The one who was insecure about his life and always needed women to make him for the small change, to need him for the small change he was making. No small change. I was with him between my last semester and getting my job. And once I got my job offer, the passive aggressive behavior started. And I also realized he had been cheating since before my graduation when I was in school. Then he would make side remarks like, not all of us are born from privilege. Too bad! I've heard that one before! I've heard that one before. Why do people want to shame he was always trying to make sure I was in a lower financial situation than he was. Like advising me to buy his car off of him when he got a brand new car. His car was old and had been in several accidents. First of all, why the fuck? Instead of you should just beg me to add money for you to buy your car. You're telling me that I should come and buy your old beat up ride. If you hate me, just say so. So the fact of the matter is, I'm not going to lie. This privileged thing he has said... I all my life I'm triggered as fuck, and I dated. I, it was not even somebody I dated. It was just somebody that I was out with, and we were talking. And then he was like, "Oh, he said this thing of, oh, you know, not all of us were, but guy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even fuck with the ones I'm hearing. Your once I meet guys, I ask like your story, your background. Once your background is sounding foreign to me, before one day you will come and tell me something like, "Ew." So there are certain things I drop. Where do you go to school? Where do you grow up? Where is your father now? I'm screaming. Where is once the answers are all seeming foreign to most I cannot place what you are saying. <laughs> block a block a block a t- because next thing you will come and ask me, not all of us can be born from pre- then don't speak to me. Don't speak to me. Go and face your fellow non privileged girl be and speak about to my her. Privilege. Because I didn't tell my privilege not disturbing us. You know I'm looking at you, you I'm know, talking to you, I like you. You're you talking of my privilege. That is now highlighting your privilege and then he's insecure about it though but you will not want to use it to his own benefit let's yes, say now. maybe you who are married now yes. once i'm seeing your parents you want to go and pitch ideas to your parents about yes. one million my dad has invested but uh, my privilege is not sp- ah. mm. oh my god i'm so mad in my life i had a guy who worked for my mom and it was that guy that used to come and tell me th- so he worked for my mom he saw like uh books and finances and stuff and then he now came to tell me that because over the time, this was when I worked at Accelerate, so I don't know. We were just Accelerate, we're always busy. We were making content or whatever. So there was a time where I was coming home late. I was just really busy. I didn't have his time. And this nigga told me that he doesn't understand why I'm working as hard as I'm working or why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because, like, or why I'm not being more supportive of him when he's working hard. Because, like, I don't have to work that much. I have my mom's company. Bear in mind, I have no business with my mom's company. My mom's company is her company. He said that he has seen the books, he has seen what they are doing. So why am I working? Why am I bothering? That when I'm doing it, I'm just doing it, you know, for the sake of working. But him, he has to work. So I should be more available, but he should be more understanding when he's not available. This is how I sat down that day looking at him. I thought I was in the twilight zone. I say, Am I hearing real life stuff? I don't even know what to say to that. I don't know what to say. You know, sometimes I feel like men feel you're stupid. It's as if this one too was uh, shorter than five ten. It'll be five eleven. So it's, it's my like own as fault. If you this they've looked at you and they concluded this girl does not have sense. But how much of no sense does she have? So that like, uh, do you know? I don't think that's it. I refuse to believe it's me that they looked upon and thought they didn't have sense. His own sense because the insecurities they flooded up from his rotten testes into his brain and confused him and his sense flew out his you ears also, and his mouth you, just started you, talking. You dating someone that worked for your mom? And the dick was... No, I didn't. I started dating him and then my mom needed... He did finance and stuff. So I was like, oh, mom meets finance guy. Finance guy meets mom. Why? And I feel then like they that started was, You'll never do that again, obviously. Would you? The plead the fifth. I don't know. That guy was particularly. Oh, I mean, if my mom needs something, and the guy I happen to be dating can provide it, why not? Now, you're very trusting. Well, yeah, well, not with finances, obviously. Yeah, that's what I'm stuff. like. Finances, like I finances didn't know did finance. Like? She said something, something. She needs something. They were talking. He said, "Let's go." I me, I just hooked people up because you know I thought it made sense. Yeah. I didn't think. Also, the dick was great. I wasn't thinking long term. I was thinking yeah. the dick is fire. The I saw, dick you is fire. Long term, but you the let him get a job fire. with your mother. Pardon? Yeah. Tomorrow, let's fucking let's my explore house. this our friendship now. I'm fucking you my house. Let's explore this friendship. Also, no, when I say I wasn't thinking fast, it's not like I mean I loved him, so I was hoping. No, but my like accent I didn't chair. think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so annoying. <laughs> uh-uh. This was in my past day. This, this was is your past. presence. At least I'll be worth it. I'm screaming. <laughs> 
But yeah, that's so crazy. It was very wild. He literally threw it in my face. And that was the beginning of the end of our relationship. Yeah. And being secure is actually... It's normal. Also, a friend of mine DM'd me and said something along the lines of, oh, let's talk about insecure women too. That's another episode. <laughs> yeah. It is. Because as somebody who has dated all of it the is. above, you know, I can tell you, I honestly don't mind as people. Um, I, to the left, I, to the right. I, I think, um, yeah, insecure women too. They get as it mean. Even in friendships, even in dynamics. I know somebody right now whose insecurities are... Anyway, I ain't going to tell your gist on the internet, but I'm about to call your daddy because it's a mess. It's a mess. Well, Tamara's friends should be on high alert. Be on high <laughs> alert. <laughs> Apart from those, uh, my besties, I know they, those ones, we don't worry. But if I'm just your friend and I've been eyeing you, giving you side eye, just know you can receive phone call at any moment from your parents. Tamara, please, if I do so, 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 what is this? Tell me first before you call my parents. No, you, I, you have sense, I'll tell you. This one, her insecurities are ravaging her senses. You know, I feel like calling my parents is generally a bad idea for anybody that wants to get through to me, but. Yeah, there's some people there's no need to call their parents. This one, anything her parents say, mm. she will listen. No, 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 no. It's not like I don't listen to my parents. It's no, just this one. If she doesn't listen to herself, you she know, listens my parents, to her parents. My parents pick and choose their battles very well. Ah, so they don't bother. No, this one, they all get up. <laughs> like, they do compromise. It's like, it's, so like it's not even like as if they don't bother, like they don't care. It's just no, like, like they let you do what they you think know. about what they're being told. If it's bothering them that much, they're going to have a conversation with me. Okay. If they think that that person is just crazy which has happened a few a few times they're definitely not gonna say anything to me you're just like okay thank you for the thank advice <laughs> <laughs> so lovely and then the next time i see that person my mother will gossip about you to me i said oh, you don't know what she told me about you <laughs> <laughs> yeah Scream. my mother that's what she does so, screaming so now we know moving crazy but some of you i know the tea i'm gonna give your dad is gonna be whew, piping hot Oh it will God. really reset your okay, brain. Tamara. But that's next year, and it's because I love you. Yeah, but yes. next year? Mm-hmm. How kind? Yeah, I don't have time this year. It's not even kindness. I'm just busy. I don't want to deal with the blowback to 2023. I will start my year. Hot, hot. So, insecure men, um, lessons to you. Actually, I don't really care about you. If you're an insecure man, go to therapy, fix your life. Babes, run. Run away. Especially yeah, if you're an insecure, insecure man men. that cannot communicate. Run yeah, away. Run away from insecure men. I There's always nothing say, like dating a secure man. I always say, man. there is. isn't. I feel like so a, lot of, a lot of me growing into myself and being very self-assured and being comfortable enough to express myself and know that there was nothing wrong in how I was living was part was definitely part in past because I was dating a very secure man. A secure man. Um, it definitely made me feel like I wasn't an ashawo like a lot of other men would have called me. Yeah. Um, I've even been through a situation where somebody was actually trying to blackmail me. Ah. And, like, yeah, with my nudes. And the person had said, oh, I want to see what your husband is going to say and blah, blah. My husband is saying my nudes. I had a conversation with him and, like, when I was telling him, like, I was, like, all over the place and, like, I was freaking out because we had just gotten married. Yeah. And he was just like, why are you crying? Like, where's the number? Let's figure out what's going on with this guy. Finish. I'm telling you. Like, and so I was like, so... The person was trying to get money off me, and it was kind of like, oh, okay. Um, he, like, prove that. Like, so I was like, yeah, like, I've told, like, I've had a conversation with him, and like, we just want to know what we're supposed to do mm-hmm. and like move forward. And then this person now says I should prove it. So, like, he's trying to call them to have like a conversation with, like, and like, it's almost like as if the person couldn't believe that I had shared the information with, with, with yeah. Can you imagine? So it now became a thing of... So I think at first, it was like kind of like a shame thing. Like, yes. I'm going to ruin you. Then and he it was now realized, just, well... Just after I had just gotten married. And, it, it, like, it was consuming me. I feel like I was going to collapse. Like, and the person even was such a dick and did, like, a collage of, like, my wedding picture. And anyway... Wow, a, a true fucking psychopath. Anyway, things I've been through. I've, I don't see many things for this Lagos. But, um... He was just like, you know, all of this happened, like, even before you and I, like, even if it, like, whatever it is, the point is that somebody is trying to disgrace exactly, you. Exactly, like, and my white is now your white, so we cannot yeah. see Yeah, <laughs> so it was, and that really, really, really... That's um, nice. Yeah, but I think he kind of set the bar really high. Yeah, so now you knew... So now, hmm. I just generally, ex- not that I, like, I, yeah, I expect hmm. you to be very understanding towards some certain things that would happen to I me. I just didn't, because the thing is, thank God me, I'm secure and myself as a human being. If not, this man would have, because I didn't even know it was insecurities. I just 
just thought they were generally insane. Yeah. I thought, they were, and it really has skewered my view to most men because now I think of men as like, I honestly don't think of them as that different from Fendi and Ferrari, my cats. You know, with the right training and the right amount of guidance, that's uh, when they would behave. Are named F. But without <laughs> my fish is Fanta. Oh my god, fish Fanta Fendi Ferrari. Yes. <laughs> but anyway, carry on. But Sorry. yes, I think of them the same because I can't understand when I see an insecure babe, at least babes when they're insecure, they will tell you something like, you know, you know, I don't I feel some type of way about my body, I feel some type of way about this. Yeah. Men, instead of them to tell you this, I feel some type of way, the next thing they will start telling you, Do you know you're a bastard or an halot for dressing like this? Yeah. You now wonder that yeah, they project is this person possessed you instead of I think it's like an outward insecurity, like you're projecting your insecurity on Just onto like the my cat, when my cat is feeling insecure, he starts chasing his tail or he poops. It's the same amount of stupidity to me. So I'm I can't understand. Or he poops. Is it that's what he does? Sometimes my cats will just when he's really stressed, he'll just poop by the door. Don't vex poop. It's the same thing as men do shouting hello. They have like a little when they're insecure, when they feel funny. So that's how you know something's oh, wrong. Really? But when they're happy, they just you never see. They anything. just poop and they poop. So if and you know it's an insecure thing because it's not a lot of poop. It'll be like three pellets just to let you know that What's hey, I'm feeling some them? type of way. Pardon? What kind of insecure cats? Like, if you're... I have two now. So, if I'm giving my attention to one... Or if, like, there's strangers in the house. Like, my plumber came once and my car was, like, freaked out. They were in his space. So, he just... He took a shit. Okay. Took a shit. Similar to men that when a guy comes <laughs> and he's flirting with them... They, wait, they might they, as well they just... Do take the way they shit. start shouting and vex, it's better they just off their pants and take a shit in the restaurant. Let's all know that you are... It's the same vibe. That's why... So, please... If yeah, you're a woman, yeah. run from such. If you're a man, go and seek therapy, seek help. Better mm. yourself. Work on your mind. To Communicate. Give you advice, like, uh, you know, I'm not your agony aunt. Me, I'm auntie, but not for agony. I'm here for glory. <laughs> Please figure yourself out. But babes, <laughs> once you start, because it may not seem like insecurity, it may look like madness. Once it looks like brain touch, run away, run away. If he has mm. sense, he will come and communicate the problem to you. If not, he will still be there angry. Leave him there to stew in his anger. Mm-hmm. Valerie, take the people home. Where can they find us? This episode. Oh is yes. <laughs> so Tamara has finished dropping gems for you. See me, I zoned out because if you like, I wish I come near me or my friends because I'm call you out and we gonna bounce you from the circle. <laughs> you know, like um, you were saying something about having faves. You said something. I can't remember, but anyway, let me just free that. <laughs> I'm free that. Faves on my phone. Faves, faves way. Never mind. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Um, you can find us first of all at Mado Fest. It's on the 18th of December. Come through and support Is us. Is it secured? Live. People didn't even tell me. Yes, 18th. I know. I'm ready. <laughs> um, we're going to be talking shit live. I feel like you can. When is we study this? Oh, because no time to change. You told me 10th. You said 11th, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so. That's it for this episode of this podcast. We finished talking about insecure men. I hope you people are not going to bash us in the comments because I was the devil's advocate on this episode. At least I tried. Bash what? Anybody that bashes me, I'm we'll sorry you to back. you. Once you have bashed me, it means you are probably below 5'10". Woo. And me, I don't listen to such men below that. Anybody with sense. Me, I don't see what you are bashing here. Who did I insult? Who did I abuse? I didn't say anything. Good luck to you, shorties and others. Okay. Not shorties. By Napoleon. This guy is a fool. You can find us um on the Mado page on YouTube. You can find us at Local Relatable Mado. Podcast on and on every podcast, um, Instagram and TikTok. And I think Twitter as well. We also have an email address which is localrelatablepod at gmail.com. And yeah, come to our live show in December. Come and watch us talk our shit. Come and hang out with us. Buy some merch. Um, we're going to be putting some quotable quotes on the merch, which should be fun. Um, um, yeah, definitely going to have one that, yeah, I have a few ideas that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you very soon. We'll see you soon. I didn't mean to say that away from the mic. We'll see you soon. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs>